Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today we will be studying about the serial communication. So how will be I am going to use it. So maybe I will describe you in this video. Uh, so for starting the serial communication, we will be using a Python. That uh, they will be using a, a library known as the PySerial. And before that, I will come to the hardware part. What the hardware will be using. So uh, this is the chip basically we will be using. So. If you want, I can uh, give the description of this chip in the uh, in the description box. And uh, here uh, we'll be connecting uh, with a USB, and we'll be getting a serial port over here. A serial communication we can have. We can have it this with the multiple uh, laptops or multiple uh, uh, computers or whatever you want. Uh, we can have that, and uh, you can uh, have a lot of applications with this uh, serial communication that we'll discuss later on in this video. So as I told you, we'll be using uh, the the Python PySeal uh, thing. So first of all, you need to import the library. So you can easily get the uh, library here in the serial. Maybe I will just give a quick thing with how to edit. So once you will go to settings, there you can get the Python interpreter. Here you will get all the libraries whatever you have installed already. And if you want to add more, so what you can do is here you can get a uh, plus sign here, and you can write your Okay, so this is this is already installed. You can see it's in the blue color. Otherwise, it will be something like that in the yellow. Oh, sorry, uh, black. And here you can have the installed package. You can directly install it. And once the installation is done, then uh, we can uh, proceed further. So here you have to mention which port you will be using. So once you will connect this, so you will be getting like which port you will connect. Uh, I'll I'll just tell that as well. You can see. And the border, there are so many borders. Okay, so 1152009600. So I'm using 9600 in this. And then we have inside the serial, we have serial dot serial. Then we have to give the port, which port number we'll be using, and then the board rate, how much board rate we'll be using, and timeout. Timeout you can give it. Like, so for the simplifications, I have used the timeout one. And now we'll start this like if serial is open, if this is open, then we can just write our serial dot name that is open. And then we'll start. So that is up to us how uh, long like we want to use it. So since I want to use for the like a lot of uh, characters, so that's why I have used in the uh, while loop. So that is up to us and our application how you want it. So even uh, for the like and then whatever the command you will be you, uh, you want to give this is a simple thing I have used like input okay whatever the command you want to give just for exiting the loop so if you give, will give the exit so directly it will just close the serial communication and it will get exit from the program otherwise serial dot write this is the one that you will be using for writing so serial dot write so command whatever this is in the sky format you can use there so maybe I can uh, tell you that as well and uh, okay this is the right and then uh, you can read as well like whatever you are transmitting from the other thing so those things you can read as well so i'm reading it as well. so let's i think uh, all first and then i'll show you that ah so i got that Okay, so the error is couldn't open the COM port COM5. Okay, so I have used COM5 that I have like a, that's a, this is the hard coding. I will tell you if you don't want to do the hard coding, uh, you can get like which all the ports you have already connected. Maybe I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so here in the control panel, you will uh, get this option. This is another device manager. Once you will open this, so here you will get. So just uh, connect with the USB symbol, okay? So uh, yeah, here mm, you will get the ports, okay? So I got the po COM port five, okay? So that's why I have connected the COM port five. So you can directly hard code it for the time being, and then once you will run this, okay? So if you want to exit, you can uh, type exit. Otherwise, you can give any command. Okay, I have sent you. Oh, okay, but. I 
right or something like that okay so let us do one thing just for the uh, sake of just test whether whatever we are sending that is uh, we are getting or that is like successfully transmitted or not okay so in this chip uh, you will get two things there is one thing that is known as a transmitter and there is one thing that is known as a uh, receiver okay so what we can do is i can just show the transmitter and the receiver this is the loop back okay this is the loop back thing so whatever i will be transmitting that i will be receiving okay so simply i have done this just to show you okay how it's working with the other things how you can transmit okay uh, let us okay okay so now i am transmitting y oh yeah so you can see i am getting y as okay so if i am transmitting u y whatever i am transmitting i am getting net okay so you can see okay so uh, yeah so this is the one part and then adding to uh, all these things like um, for for the applications like you can get anything from the serial communication uh, you can have a number of applications like for the sensors you can use okay then you can have anything so these kind of things you can use for the serial communication it is widely used so adding to this i can give you one more small uh, thing uh, this is like a ticket pop up there is a gui uh, basically so here also like once you will be getting something that you can display on the ticket okay or uh, for the for the same thing you can have something like uh, suppose you are getting any uh, motion detection and then you can store, uh, store the video and you can record the video something like that so a lot of applications there or for the attendance monitoring system for the thumb print and all this thing okay so these are basically work. okay so there i have a small application of the serial communication so what i'm doing here is like whatever i'm getting from the uh, serial communication i can display it on the ticket up okay just for the application purpose i have made this so what we can do is like okay i'll run it okay so then i'm sending t okay so i'm receiving t since i have used here loopback again mm, sorry here i'm reading it and then you can see there is a pop up okay there here also you can see that t has been received okay this is just an example so similar to way similar to this way you can have a lot of examples for serial communication since this is the basic protocol that people are using widely in the uh, industry okay so that's all from my side for the today uh, thank you for watching my video thank you and have a nice day bye bye